In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I believe to be one of the best spacing concepts in Madden 21, this route combination. I think it might just be the best route combination in the entire game. This combination is really, really simple to run. It's really, really simple to execute. But I think that people just kind of have forgotten about this formation. So we're in part, I think, five or six of our gun cluster offensive scheme. And uh, if you don't know who, my, who I am, my name's Cody, and my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can become. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now, we've been in a series on the gun cluster, the cluster halfback strong and the cluster regular um, from the Arizona Cardinals playbook. And if you want to learn my entire Arizona Cardinals offense, I would encourage you to pick up my Arizona offensive guide in the description of this video. I think, honestly, the more that I come back to this, this offense is probably going to be the best offense in Next Gen Madden. Uh, I, I know from experience that in, in Next Gen Madden 21, this offense was insanely hard to stop. And I would bet money that um, in Madden 22, this offense is going to be incredibly difficult to defend. And so if you have not already uh, grabbed the Arizona Air Raid offensive system, I'd encourage you to get it. I'm going to leave a link to the guide in the description of this video, and um, you can pick it up down there. So anyways, we're going to dive in here to this uh, gun cluster concept from the Halfback Strong. And... Um, this is one of my favorite concepts in the entire game. Now, I will say that it is helpful to have a uh, slot apprentice or a hot rat master. Okay, so that's why I've got the bucks. Um, do you have to have that? You know, and for this one in particularly, if you're playing mutt and you don't have a great like, or if you're playing regs and you're using the bucks, this specific play, I like to. You see that I can go to a four wide receiver package down here. This is one of the play, like if I know I'm going to run this play, I'm going to go to four wide receivers just because it helps the, the route running for the Bucks. If you're in Mutt and that's Calvin Johnson out there or Robert Woods or someone with 90 plus route running, you're good. Just just run it as is. But anyway, mesh post. Um, and I love this concept. This is just oh, it's such a good concept. It's very good spacing. Um, and you're just going to have a lot of fun with this. So the beauty of these mesh routes is where they get against Mabel cover. So like um, traditionally, you know, if you're playing someone that's a quote unquote blitz tube kind of guy, um, this is what you're going to get. Okay. You're going to get kind of this coverage right here. This guy's going to kind of sit in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put major conflict on the user. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the circle receiver and we're going to put him on a crossing route. And then we're going to take the X and we're going to put him on a, a post route and we're going to smart route it just like this. And that's pretty much it. Now, with the running back, you can put him on a traditional... I would, honestly, I would put him on a traditional wheel route or a flat route, a table route. One of those two. Um, the table route's better for me in coverage. The wheel route's better for zone. Uh, but I'm just going to go wheel route. And um, let me just show you. So we're just going to motion X to the numbers, and then we're going to snap the ball. And what you're going to see is that these routes are going to just kill the user and they're going to kill Mabel coverage. Um, you can get the X as far outside as you want. Another way that you can run this, if you don't, let's say you just have uh, Slot Apprentice. Let's just say you just have Slot Apprentice. What you can do is you can take um, Circle. So like once I put this guy on a cross, I can put X on a crossing route. And then I can take Circle and motion him out and leave him on the post route that he's already on. Um, I would recommend smart routing that route so it gets a little shallower. But what you'll see is this thing gets so open. The crossing route, most people are conditioned at this point in the year, if they see a crossing route, they need to go guard, at least especially uh, on its initial break. And so what you're going to see a lot, I'm just telling you, you are going to see a lot of this right here where they're going to take the crosser. And what's going to happen is this post route is going to become so wide open because of how good the spacing from this formation really actually is when you use motion. So you'll see they take the crosser and look at how much space I've opened up to throw that ball. Now, the reason why I love this concept is because I absolutely love the underneath routes against zone coverage. I think they're the best zone beater in the entire game. So again, now let's say that they take uh, the post. 
Okay, let's just say they take the post. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're going to, and I just think it works better if you do this setup right here. I just think the motion snap and kind of the where the routes get to on the field are a lot better. So if you get this right here is really what I want to say. But um, again, now I just want you to watch the underneath routes. You're gonna see they sit against zone, you pass lead them inside, easy, easy 15 to 20 yards. I cannot stress, I've thrown these routes a million times. They are incredibly effective against zone. Incredibly effective against zone. So what they're gonna force your opponent to do is they're gonna force your opponent to drop two yellows over the middle of the field, and now they literally have nobody blitzing. They might have one guy that's blitzing you. Okay, that's, this, this coverage right here, is the best defense for this play. This coverage right here is the best defense for this play. So now let's talk about the crossing route. So um, I've talked a little bit about the post route. I wanna talk about this crosser. And to do that, I'm gonna to have to actually change who I man up. So I'm gonna man up X. Um, but I wanna talk about this crossing route to circle. Um, now there's ways that you can actually make this crossing route more of an option. But honestly, I kinda of like having these two underneath mesh routes. But I just want you to watch circle so you see crosser, um, you see that, you see kind of where he gets to. Now, um, I wanna talk about kind of how you can throw this ball against different types of zones. So most of the time you're gonna get this look. I'm just telling you from experience, this is the look that you're gonna get whenever you run cluster. You are going to get essentially this right here. Um, I, I can pretty much bet you money that you throw an out route one time against people, they're gonna go to this setup, okay? So what you can do when you when you run this is you're gonna have a lot, if you watch this, watch the corner on the left side. So you see he's gonna drop, see how he's kinda sitting there looking for work, looking for work, looking for work. If I pass lead this up, I can swerve catch, it's a one play touchdown. We just gave you a one play touchdown against cover three Mabel. I think that's huge. So now that the outside third, now that we've glitched out the outside third, and I'll show it to you again. Let me just show it to you one more time. This is if they if they don't take the crosser themselves, which they probably honestly won't, they're gonna pass the crosser off thinking the coverage is gonna get there because they have the right zone drops and all that. Um, the problem is they really don't, and, and I just wanna show you again. So you see here, snap the ball, and I'm just gonna lob it over the top. Click on, do a little swerve catch, and as you can see, I've got a nice read against cover three Mabel. Now, if you're in mutt, you've got faster players there, you're gonna have a lot more success. Now, what about like if they're in this kind of setup right here, just wanna kind of give you a little bit of a, you know, I just wanna give you as much um, understanding of this play as good, because it's, it's, this might just be the best play in Madden 22, I'm just telling you right now. This this play is insane. Um, you know, of course, I totally messed up my, my R1 receiver. See how he drifts? See how he doesn't drop back properly? And, and you see, So what you're gonna see is because there's no vertical route on the left side, that's why mesh is so good. Because there's because there's um, there's no vertical route on the left and they're in press alignment, that third is gonna be looking for work. Um, we also know from experience that post routes uh, have a tendency to glitch out um, these, these middle thirds, outside thirds or whatever. So when you combine all of it in one play like this now you get this um you see how he's just drifting back looking for work that's where you can over the top pass lead and go secure catch go make a play okay you can do that now um what that's going to lend itself to as far as what their adjustments are going to be off of this and again you can still throw your route there's so many other openings and they're they're not i'm just telling you they're not going to not blitz people right they're going to try to use the post in the mesh route or something but they're just you know they're, they're not going to be able to defend this so so now let's talk about it like if they put a deep half out there so i'm going to put the uh square guy on a on a left on a on a, the uh, left side corner i'm going to put him on a deep half zone just want you to watch. Um, you're gonna see that he's gonna drift to the inside. Now also, one little thing, really, really, really important, and, and don't even worry about the hitch right there. This is something about mesh routes, the mesh routing in zones, why I love it so much. It acts like a hitch. So this safety is on a 25 yard drop. Look at this, watch. 
See him come back. See him square up right here. See that? That's because once this route settles up, this route or this zone is going to treat it like a hitch. See how he moves inside? Now you've got all of this space back here that you can now throw this route. This is why I love mesh mesh so much. I think it's the best concept that nobody uses in Madden. Um, let me show it to you again. So again, I'm just going to man up on him. And I just want you to watch. This is this will happen to a 30 yard cloud. This will happen to a 15 yard cloud. This will happen to a 40 yard cloud if they even had that, right? It doesn't matter what type of cloud. Watch, settles up, see how they move inside. Now I have the freedom to be able to throw this ball, okay? And again, if it's cover three, you're throwing up and over, up and over the top. Um, if you're if it's if it's not cover three, um, and if they do this adjustment where they're deep halfing their corners which they might not even know that they need to from the gun cluster, honestly, because people don't ever face it. But if they do that, then what you're gonna be able to do is you should be able to hit this on the sideline. So again, just watch, settles up, see how they drift inside, pass lead down and away, and Gunslinger's gonna help you complete that, but you see it's really, really clean. Really, really clean, okay? Um, now you can do the same thing to a cover four. So uh, let's say they're in cover four. So I just want to show cover four real quick. Um, typically, if you're facing someone that's running cover four, um, I just you know it's not a great look for the defense in my opinion for what we're doing. But let's say they do something essentially like this right here. They get you know they don't run a deep zone on the left because they're relying on their cover four defense um, to stop it. So anyway, let's just show you the concept same concept right here it's a one play it's, it's it's a dot over the top you see and i I'm, brady is killing me but it's it's literally it's why gunslinger is such an important ability um gunslinger if that's rogers that's a dot um but let me show you one more time so again if we just do that adjustment right there okay and i i probably threw it a little bit late but you're just watching once the once the slot kind of clears that inside quarter, you can throw it over the top of his head. And I, I didn't get a good animation right there, but typically you can. Um, the other thing is, I think what I was talking about was this baseline look. Once you get them to start doing that, uh, I think you've won the game because this, this is not a sound coverage. Like, for cluster, it's just not. You can throw so many, like, there's just so many things you can do against this. But anyway, let me just show you one more time. So let's just do this concept. So come on. Watch circle. So you see him drift, 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 drift. And I can go over the top of his head. Okay. That's the, so, and that's if they're sitting on the post. Obviously, if they go to the crosser and they follow the crosser, throw the post route. Um, in everything, you have your underneath mesh route, which I think is super cool. Um, and then one last thing I want to show is honestly the way that I would personally defend this. So I would put these 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 uh, cloud flat zones out there, uh, just like this, and then that gives me a plus one guy that I could do something with. So I would probably do like, you know, purple, purple, and then I don't know what I would do with, you know, I don't even know what I would do with this guy. I'd probably, I don't even know. Okay, um, so we'll just we'll just spy him. I don't know where I'd do with them. I probably, I, I, I obviously we're dropping more people than, you know, and trying to take away more of the field than, than anyone's gonna do. But if you watch the circle receiver, um, twenty-five yard cloud. Remember, it gets glitched out completely, so that's an easy laser because of the mesh route. The mesh route glitches out cloud flats, which allows us to throw the crosser over the top. This play is basically unguardable. Is what I'm getting at. I mean, it's really. I don't know of a defense that's going to be able to consistently guard it. The best chance they have is this cover four if they can get um, if they can get these zones to play properly. Let me show you an example. So, like this right here, honestly, is probably the best chance that they have this defense right here at stopping this because a cloud flat's not going to stop it. I can guarantee you that. A cloud flat will not stop this route. And because we're using, um, 
you know, because we're using this post and behind it, they can't just simply use the route. So now, you can see, see how I can pass lead over the outside quarter? That's huge. Like, it's so hard to stop this play. Um, match, so like, let's say they were match. If they run stock match, which I'm gonna, I wanna show that just so I can show you this literally beats everything. Because you're in cluster halfback strong, they're not gonna they're not gonna play it, um, match properly because you're in cluster halfback strong, which means you have quads uh, to one side of the field. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. So uh, let's just go mesh post. Now you will see these mesh routes will act a little differently in this coverage, but this is quarters. Um, now again, you have to remember they're gonna want to use this guy and they're gonna want to take away the post route more than likely if they don't take away the post route you can throw it every time okay but i'm just gonna for sake of illustration here we're gonna show this so what they're gonna do is they're gonna take this guy here and he's gonna go into the th um the three rec i'm just gonna show stock quarters honestly though uh let me just let me just show you stock quarters and then what i'll do is i will um i'll just take this guy right here and man him up maybe just so we can show man coverage. And then we're just gonna, you know, assume they're gonna do some type of three down, you know, three down, uh, two or three man rush. So what you'll see against match now, and again, this is quarters. So same route combination. I just want you to watch. You're gonna see that we're gonna open up a ton of space to throw this crosser. Now this, this quarters coverage is, is very unique in the way that it plays this because most, most matches won't like palms won't won't do this uh, quarters will that's why quarters is a better match uh, typically but what you'll see is these mesh routes they don't settle up you see how they cross really well um, now the main coverage the post routes open if it's not for the main coverage and the crossing routes open if it's not for the main coverage so they play the underneath fairly well but they give up um, they give up the over the top so let me show you that let me just run like stock quarters because um, I don't even know once you start adjusting quarters you can kind of mess with the rules but again you're gonna see something like this um, and now what you should see is circle should kill his guy like if you throw this over the top um, you should be able to kill it um, if you're in mutt you got better speed a little bit better speed will help that the other thing that you've got going for you though is this post route to X will basically kill match so you'll see they're gonna kind of roll with him it's gonna leave this major window to throw that post route right over the middle so quarters honestly probably the best way to defend it ironically but quarters has so many holes when you play cluster it's very unlikely that somebody's gonna run quarters on it and if they do um, you know an easy way around it like let's just say you you, you know they're running quarters um, and you still want to run this this is where I would say take the running back, put him on an option route, streak the square receiver. You're still going to have the same basic spacing that you had. Um, but now what you're going to see is this is going to pull these zones out of the way. And you've got a nice window to throw your post route. Very easy, easy read. So this play, I think, is the best play in the game. I think it'll be the best play in the game next year. This play is insanely hard to guard. Um, if you don't have Hot Route Master, you can still run this play. What I would do, obviously you can't run it as well, um, but what I would do, if I didn't have Hot Route Master, I would wheel the running back, and then I would just take the X and put him on a curl and motion him out to the numbers and snap it right there. So now you get the same idea. Um, you get the same concept, and you're going to open up a lot of space to hit the X receiver. So, or you could put him on a dig route, um, smart route and in route that's another thing you could do but you can still run this if you don't have hot route master it's just hot route master makes it the post routes a lot better than a dig in this year's game um, it's actually a it's really subtle different but it's a really big difference if you think about it so this is um, this 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 concept is super super fun to run I'd encourage you to try it out I think it's the best concept uh, in Madden 21 right now I think it's gonna be the best concept next year so if you want to get everything that I do on offense and defense every week, be sure to join that True Fan membership. It's just five bucks, super cheap, and you get a ton of value for it, in my opinion. So be sure to sign up. Link is in the description.